Yeah. Y'all kind of, it's like that. It's where, a group of us that's like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You, like real talk. Like I ain't, I ain't, it ain't a man. It ain't a snake in our grass. Like right. real talk. When I can say, uh, paper chase, like core paper chase members. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. And and you know, the people that's yeah. That's that's for yeah. sure. Cool. All right, bro. So, do you think Paper Chase got the respect that they deserve at that time? I personally don't think they do because mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Because shit, that shit was as far as like for what we had here, mm -hmm. that shit was big, bro. Yeah. So the reason why I want to touch on that because it's a situation that you know mm -hmm. I fight with sometimes. So being real, I have to let you know like a little history too. A lot of people may not know. At the time when Paper Chase actually came out, it was no other rap group besides 3R Entertainment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Twisted Black. Uh, you had One Good Side, Genocide. Mm -hmm. uh, Genocide kind of, I can't say that they kind of, but I don't know what was going on with them, but they weren't really prominent. You had the Saucy Lab. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Saucy Boys. Uh, Thyra was with... Uh, Switch house, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, so you had a good movement going on that was then, you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, 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 I uh, know how, okay, okay. And then, uh, but probably one of the lo only labels at that time we were put together that drove around, had the actual CDs pressed up, pushing out posters. I'm seeing flyers, trucks, posters, yeah. Yeah, everything. Yeah. So, not saying that I want to just, like, yeah. you know. But well, I got to give flowers to ourselves. Yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? Because to be honest with you, in a lot of cases, when we touch on Paper Chase, we don't actually recognize. And and be be real with you, streetwise, did numbers as mm. far as uh, like mixtapes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like real talk. Uh, Selling them boys me, out. Me and, we had a drop, me and Seacon dropped a tape by ourselves that just shook the city. You know right. what I'm saying? So real talk, like. And then that's when I ran the Trap Squad Cartel and I started linking up with other artists. Because at that time, linking up with other artists and networking and doing features and collabing, man, they was looking at you sideways for that. Really? A real talk. Wow. Yeah. That's Still crazy. That was so crazy. you one of the few artists, bro, who's seen the evolution of the Fort Worth music scene. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You seen it when it... You know, when it honestly started with y'all, really, you know what I'm saying? And then you kind of seen it kind of die, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, around that time, we got you, Smoke Dean, mm -hmm. uh, Get Money, Lil Runny, Chucky mm -hmm. was rapping, mm -hmm. but Yayo hadn't came out yet. Mm -hmm. And as far as just three people that you could name from the city, like, oh, that's him, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, if I'm missing anybody, forgive me, but... Mm -hmm. It's just far as me, that's who I knew was dropping music. Mm -hmm. You, Smoke Dean, and mm -hmm. and, and Chucky. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. So, like, let me ask you this. This is a better question. What do you think the best era of of Fort Worth music was? <coughs> the best era of Fort Worth music would have, I would say is Yayo era. Mm -hmm. I gotta be honest. Okay. Um. Uh, only reason why is because it shed a light on the possibilities of right. where artists from Fort Worth, Texas could go. Right. Because in truth be told, it seemed like it's it's a net of a Fort Worth artist, or sometimes it's a limit. Like it's just like everybody get to a certain person, a certain place, and stop. But Yayo and Hood Fame, to be real with you. They took it to a no, to the next level, right? Where as far as streaming, of course the times was different, so right. we ain't gonna we're not right. gonna shed shed light on that. But before the times became different, they put their groundwork in, right, right. Like nobody can take that from them, and and if they do, they gotta be hating, right. But just being real, like they put their groundwork in, right. So in in terms of recognition, and in terms of uh, impact. As far as music times, I would say that was the best time then. Okay. Even though it was a lot of, you know, you know, violence and beef right. and whatever it is that come from, but that's just the era that they in. Right. You know. Right. So And then too, I think Fort Worth Fort Worth is that kind of city. Mm -hmm. It's just that now that our at that point, now that our rappers are big, 
you get to see that too because because yeah, it's everywhere it because you know like you say like you know it was cracking way before mm -hmm. we was recording people on cameras mm -hmm. and, and doing mm -hmm. all of that it was yeah. beefed out so yeah you know is and it, it kind of like chicago too bro like they've been killing out there but once them rappers got big then you realize like golly like they dropping like flies bro yeah i mean it's a mockery, you mm -hmm. know, because like I said, the only thing that I say, I can't tell the youngsters how to how to live their life because at the end of the day, we was all young. You right. know what I'm saying? So, uh, it's just you know, unfortunately, it's kind of like it's really no code, right? You know, but and that's the difference between then and then. But they adapted, they adopted that Chicago lifestyle, culture, right, and their mentality, right. But it was through the music too. Right. Though. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? There's so many different things. But that's why I say like as far as music impact and as far as uh, everything, that was the best era and if I would say like, as far as quality of music coming out and music that was good, I would say I would have to say the paper chase era. Right. The trap score era, because no lie, like the songs that still can that came out then. To be real with you, maybe a little dated, but they all substance. You know what I'm saying? You got to right. think about Trash Squad, like them, them, my little bros. You got stacks in the air. Right. You got uh, getting money, you know. Uh, I smell money, you know, that's still a classic. Uh, right. They got a list, but them alone, they got a list of classics. Little John the Run. Make them make the club say, hey, like yeah. these songs that when they still come on the club, they are sound. You right. know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. That's the whole thing about it. So if I would say as far as sound and music, right. At that time it was that because it was four words. Four words had their own sound. Yeah. And uh around the around the Yayo era, I was hearing a lot of people just say, and not him specifically, but say that the city sounds like Atlanta or or another place. Um I mean, music had just changed, period. Right, right. So even the dynamic of music, the way of people were recording music and everything, I don't really, I can't compare Yayo to a, a and I ain't no no dick riding shit. Like I respect, like every artist in Fort Worth that I know that's an artist, I give a spin. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're artists. They might not know I listen to that shit, but I give that shit a spin. So I don't do no dick pulling. I just keep it a hundred about right. what I see and, right. and, you know what I'm saying, about our city. But Yayo had his style, and I seen a lot of people take Copy his style. style. You know sure. what I'm saying? Uh, for so, sure. So, you know what I'm saying? Just keeping it a buck, like Yayo, Yayo, Yayo was bigger than the city even knew. Right. I I don't know. Like that's the home. I feel like I feel like he was bigger than he knew. Right. Man, how many? Do you know how many kids walked around with a streak in their head? Yeah. Not just in Fort Worth. Period. Once they seen homie on the cameras and shit like that doing his thing yeah. and boom and all that doing shit. Doing his dances yeah, and stuff like, like that. that. Yeah, was nah. soul. Yeah. Man, that's what that's what get the deals. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what we missing for worth as far as the business side of things. That's what I mean that like that's why I mean like they era was better. Because truth be told, what niggas I don't care about, you know. Uh, no, I don't get into no beef or none of that. But when we talk about the business side of shit, they got the business side down. Right. The Ronnie got that business side down. Yeah. You sure. know what I'm saying? Like, can't take that from a nigga dog about that. Yeah. So you gotta. So that's what separated a lot of people from me. Now I gotta give a shout out to CJ Casino too, cause yeah. that's a homie too. Yeah. I used to run up to him in Houston when I'm doing my moves and shit a lot. You know. He won too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, CJ, you know, they was CJ they was real off. talented, bro. Yeah, nah. CJ huh, can yeah. rap like a mug, bro. Yeah. Bugatti Casino too. Yeah. Um Bo got some songs I like. Bugatti Casino, like they it's a lot of talent from Fort Worth. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of Fort Worth sound. Right. Now I like the fact that they've elevated to where now that you can spend them even in the midst of just coming out for listening to a finesse the two time song, right. something like that. Oh shit. Yeah, it's, you know it's what I'm saying? Fit in. 